The Comfort Zone, presented by Wrangler. Hi, hello, football. It's your old pal, Denim Dave Damashek here, lounging in my throne of dungarees, awaiting week 15. You know, there's been a lot of football in our rearview mirror, and the playoff picture is getting clear as teams are making their case for a deep playoff run like the surging New York Giants. After beating the Cowboys for the second time this season, mostly thanks to a dominating defense, they're on the path to the postseason. And this despite the fact that they currently have the 27th ranked offense in the league, behind the likes of the New York Jets and the Jaguars. Yeah, the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Giants, meantime, are on pace for their fewest rushing yards since 1945. Coincidentally, that's the last year Ben McAdoo's hairstyle and mustache were in style. Eli Manning is currently third in the league in giveaways, which leads to first in the league in Eli face. And Odell Beckham Jr. has more drops this season than he has in his previous two seasons combined. But no matter how many interceptions Eli throws or passes Odell lets slip through his fingers, the Giants always have that secret weapon stashed away in their pocket. Yes, not since Jerry Rice has there been a better player at taking a five-yard slant all the way to the house. Touchdown, Giants! 61 yards! Sure, Odell's a bit volatile and sometimes throws temper tantrums on the sidelines, and sometimes he roots for his opponents and tends to hog the spotlight and goes off on referees after games, and I'm going to stop listing these things and get to my point. He's probably the greatest X-factor in the league, and it's the reason why the Giants have a chance to win every game in the regular season and the playoffs, especially against the Cowboys. Right now, the current rookie phenoms for the Cowboys are no match for the rookie phenom of our generation, or perhaps the entire entire millennium. Sorry, Randy Moss. And by the way, you don't come close to having Odell's dance move.